How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I'm going to be playing a game of Ranked Seasons, debuting the 87 overall Tory Hunter, but before I get into that gameplay, I want to show you guys something that BC Reviews 51 sent me. I received this in the mail yesterday, and uh, it's a nice shirt, it's actually an official firm shirt, and it has a Twitch patch and a YouTube patch, both on both sides, and then on the back it actually has a Lefty and 93, so it's a jersey and it's freaking awesome. I'm going to go ahead and put it on as we get into this gameplay. But this guy has a very good team. And thank you, BC. I just want to say this shirt looks really cool. Thank you so much, man. And uh, this guy's got an all-Cubs team just for you. This is a perfect video. BC is a Cubs fan. And this guy's got Ryan Sandberg, Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo. You know, all the good Cubs. His creative players, Mark Grace in center field. But uh, now we have Torrey Hunter making his leadoff appearance right here. His debut. And this is the first time I'm facing this Kerry Wood. When I did my debut video with him, I actually pitched with him two times. And uh, after that, I sold him because I knew, well, he was a good pitcher, but at the same time, he was too wild for me. He wasn't able to locate a lot of his pitches. And I went, went ahead and picked up a Kyle Hendricks gold card instead to be my ace. So that's kind of the route that I took with that. And I figured I would stack my hitting lineup. That's how I was actually able to get the Torrey Hunter. So I figured I would buy and sell some of these cards and try to debut as many of these uh, special edition diamonds as possible. I figured that, that would probably be the best way to go since some of these cards are new. I figured I would go for them. There is Josh Donaldson sends one out, a two run shot. My, one of my first home runs of ranked seasons. No, I'm only kidding. I have hit probably like 10 home runs in, in 12 games. About one a game is what I'm averaging or right around there. It seems like a lot less, but at the same time when I look back, I did end up usually hitting almost like one a game, sometimes two or three and sometimes zero, but it averaged out to about one. And here we have uh, Lou Gehrig up at the plate. I thought I really hit one out with him as well. I thought that was gonna be his first no doubter, but it is not quite out of here. It actually hits his center fielder right in the back of the calf, I guess. And that's gonna be a triple for, from Lou Gehrig there. I don't know what the heck happened. He, that looked like it was tailor made. I don't even know who his center fielder was. Oh, it was this created player. It was Mark Grace out there, 65 overall bronze card. And his center fielder was getting drilled right in the back of the leg with that fly ball. But that's all I was able to score in that inning was three runs, but definitely more than I should have had. And now we have Walker Buehler on the mound. This card's been very effective for me, but Chris Bryant is an absolute glitch. As Kevin G.O.D. said, he is an absolute glitch in his video and he's using him and I was facing him. That was the first thing that I thought about. I was like, well, this every time I've seen this Chris Bryant card used, he uh, gets a base hit, then Anthony Rizzo in his very next swing, he hits it out. A slider inside, he sent that one deep, and now it's a 3-2 to two game, so I'm looking to uh, try and get out of this inning at least. Walker Buehler has been really effective for me before this game, I should say, because he had about a 1 ERA. We saw that in the right-hand corner of the screen there as the home run from Anthony Rizzo was sent out. You could see that he had around a 1 ERA. Definitely a good card, but this opponent just started to hit the baseball a little bit. I was able to get out of the inning keep it to a three and two game. And now I'm just trying to get as many runs back as the opponent scored. I'm trying to keep my lead at what it was. And I actually had Walker Buehler up to bat and Jason Hayward is not able to make that play. I have never seen that animation before. I think that's a new one where he kind of lunged at the ball and then fell and the ball hit him in the arm. I don't know. I think he actually would make that play in real life. Jason Hayward's a pretty good fielder if from what I'm remembering. I have no idea. But there Pablo Sanchez is making him pay for it later on in the inning, hitting a base hit which I wasn't thinking about going for two there with 40 speed, but I definitely would have been out. I would have been out by a mile. Javier Baez would have caught that ball and tagged me out without even looking at me. But anyway, Josh Donaldson is ripping one up, up the middle there to center field. I'm going to go first to third. I thought that was pretty risky, but he didn't even throw the ball to third base there. So I got lucky. And that brings up Trevor Story, who's been an absolute glitch for me. He's been amazing. I uh, It's a 2-0 count. I took that fastball 99 miles an hour up in the zone. But the thing is, is I knew that this Kerry Wood was tough to control. So I was looking for pitches that were kind of over the middle of the plate. And that one, I wanted to pull it, but I wasn't able to. I popped up to second base. But nonetheless, I did have a chance to really break the game open there. I was able to get the two runs back that the opponent got in the first, in the bottom of the first, hitting that two-run homer. But that's really my, my strategy. Is early in the game, I'm trying to get an early lead and try and make the opponent have to come back in the game, right? And every time he scores a run or scores a couple runs, I'm trying to match him or I'm trying to win the inning. That's how that's how I've always learned how to play baseball. That's how I've always been. Uh, that's how I've always really played the game. So I'm trying to implement that into a video game as well. Just try to win every inning. Every out is is crucial because it's not necessarily uh, I'm facing. I'm not necessarily facing nine people. I'm only facing one guy with the controller. So if I notice that he's struggling 
with the inside cutter, I'm going to keep going to it with Walker Buehler. And if he starts to sit on that pitch, I'm going to start to go the other way with it, as you saw in that last... Uh, well, not the other way, but I'm going to start to throw the ball out on the outside half as Lou Gehrig goes the other way with the fastball. He was doing the same thing. I mean, it's really tough to pitch in this game, I think, because hitting once you start to figure out hitting a little bit, I think people are going to be hitting... A lot of people are going to be hitting in the four, near the 400s. I mean, I'll show my stats at the very end of this, but it took me a little bit to at least figure out some of the hitting mechanics behind the game. But once, even once I was able to, my average is pretty high. I also did play a game where I was 14 innings. I had like 23 hits and I only scored a couple runs. So the game is definitely a little bit different, but a lot of hits nonetheless. As he dives there, Walker Bueller hits a base hit, but that's gonna turn into extra bases. He went ahead and quit there. Here's my stats so far through 13 games on all-star difficulty nonetheless. I'm hitting uh, 347 with a 2.84 ERA and my one of my losses I got smacked and the other loss was a, a blue screen. I The one loss I got smacked, I just couldn't pitch. The guy hit everything out and I lost the game. But um, the um, blue screen, I was we were tied. But here I did went ahead and did this exchange pack. So I wanted to reveal this gold card for you guys just to extend the video. I'm also gonna be getting into a battle royale game but I wanted to talk a little bit about this. Also in this video, this will be the last video with god awful jerseys in those orange brutal jerseys. I have a pictures of my jerseys at the very end of this one and I was able to pull James Talion and I probably butchered his name, but this guy's horrible. I mean, he's really good in real life, but in this game he's he's bad. So I, anytime you have a situation where you can sell now for a thousand or quick sell for a thousand, always quick sell because if you sell now, then they take a 10% tax. So if you're playing the market, always keep in mind that they take a 10% tax and all the the 10% of the stubs just goes into, it just disappears, SDS collects them all, and that's how they buy their team. No, I'm just kidding. I uh, jumped into a battle royale game and I have Willie Mays on the team and he hits one, but that's gonna be right to left field. I squared that one up pretty good. I was, I was a little bit on top of it. That wasn't the feedback, that was from the pitch prior to Joey Bats, and Joey Bats is also sending one deep. I was more on that one. I squared that one up a lot better. It was it was indeed good squared up, but it was not a homer. I lined out to center field. Now we have Acuna up, and uh, what better way to end the inning than a line out right to shortstop. Three hard hit balls for three outs in the, in the inning, and that's, you know, I just said in the stream, I was like, you know what? This guy's going to hit one out because I just lined out three times. First at bat, he sends one deep with Willie Mays, so that's two home runs I've given up with uh, facing Willie Mays, but I haven't hit any yet with my with my Willie Mays, the signature series from this BR draft. But anyway, he's not able to make that play. Raul Mondesi is not going to base hit up the middle. I expected him to steal. I also left my common pitcher in for uh, too long, one too many outs. But I did bring in Eric Gagne in the silver card, and he tried to steal third for some reason, and I was able to get him. But anyway, two outs in the inning. With Gagne up, he sends one into the gap, and I thought that that was going to get past him, but the right fielder is making the play there. And now we have Alex Bregman up at the plate, one of the diamonds I drafted in this BR draft. Definitely a good card. I would I would think his fielding would be a little bit higher. I talked a little bit about that in the stream, but there he's beaten out an infield base hit. And the reason why I'm talking about the stream is because I actually live streamed this game as part of a BR, as part of a BR stream over on Twitch. I also played a game of ranked season, so I figured... To, I would just include some more gameplay since that other guy did quit in the third inning. And I will have some more gameplay with Torrey Hunter. It's unfortunate that I was only able to get two at-bats. One of the at-bats he walked, the other at-bat he hit a single up the middle. I was able to steal second, but it wasn't a full game nonetheless, and it was only three innings. But the card looked pretty good, and I'm excited to continue to use him. I'm not going to sell him right away like I did some of the other cards. I'm going to go ahead and keep him. I might actually sell Lou Gehrig and try to buy a, a different one and try to debut him like that. I'm not quite sure yet. I might buy some packs. I might do something. Let me know what you guys want me to do. Do you want me to sell Lou Gehrig? Do you want me to keep him? Do you want me to try out a different diamond? If you want me to try out a different diamond, let me know who he is down in the comments section. I don't have a ton of stubs, but I should. hopefully I can win some. Hopefully I can win someone in this event that just came out for Cliff Lee or in BR. I can go 12-0 or something like that, win some cards, so that way I can get a decent team right away. But uh, I really do like this team. I mean, the, this is just a BR team. I really like these guys. But my ranked seasons team, even for golds and a couple diamonds, they are pretty solid all around. But there, uh, Joey Bat sends one into the gap. That's going to be an extra base hit after Willie Mays did the same exact thing. Now we have Ronald Acuna up. The opponent went ahead and paused it. Brought in, I believe this was Jose Leclerc. 
and they gave him a different motion in this game that was the first time i think i've ever faced him in this game and he has a completely different motion he doesn't have the splitter like we saw with the player of the month jose leclerc i was curious about that if he would have a splitter then he would be definitely effective but ronald acuna is sending a no doubter out for a two-run shot that's going to put us up to four to one and that makes me feel a lot better about this game going into the bottom of the third inning. I really put the pressure on the opponent to score a few runs. Very next at bat with Bregman. I'm squaring that one up. But another line out. I think almost every ball that I made and out in this game was hit pretty hard. There might have been a few that I popped up or I might have struck out like once. But for the most part, more than half of the outs, I should say. More than half the outs of that game were, were hit hard. At least five of them. And you guys saw most of them. Three in the first inning and then a couple more later on in the game. But definitely good game all around. And for this one, Ronald Acuna was the player of the game with the two-run shot. His Willie Mays had the solo shot. Though I knew it was just going to I knew it was gonna happen. But uh, move up to three wins. Nine wins away from a good card. And a flawless run if I'm able to. I was able to get that gold pack. So I figured I would open it for you guys. You just get this pack from leveling up through the XP reward path. And it includes Devin Travis, second baseman. It has a Josh Harrison, as Drupal Cabrera, Johnny Venters, and Cam Bedrosian. I went ahead and selected Johnny Venters. I took a look at this guy because I, I need some bullpen arms. My bullpen is horrible. And this guy is a pretty good lefty, so I went ahead and selected him. He's also going for the most, so I figured a lot of people would select this card as well. But these are going to be the uniforms. I will move my face cam to the left side of the screen. Hopefully you guys enjoy these uh these uniforms i went with the tigers logo i didn't necessarily have my college lefty logo in the game but i went ahead and chose a modified uh tigers uniform with different colors i didn't want to use the orange i think i don't really like that orange color but thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think about the uniforms and let me know which diamond card you want me to debut if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe if you are new peace out